Well, here, come on in. You hiding something? No. I saw you looking around. Do you got a girlfriend stash somewhere? No, my, my kids live here. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you sure you heard what you heard? Jan Rapport was on her cell making a fake call, claiming that Christian Vega said he would kill Mitch Lawrence if Christian didn't go to jail. Right, and all of this was for the benefit of Judge Fitzwater. Mm hmm. Totally. Great. Well, let's get to work. Oh. How? What are you going to do? I think you're lying, Mom, because you do love Dad. I know that's what you want star, but well, just because your daddy and I are getting along better doesn't mean that, well, that we love each other. But dad loves you. Go down in the court because the judge, you know, had to do the right thing and everything, but I, I will definitely take Mitch Lawrence down in the press. Um, why aren't we working down at the offices at the Sun? So I can I keep my eye on something here. Oh, your, your kids, right? Um, where are they? They're upstairs. Alone? Yeah, what do you work for social services now? Wait, wait, why don't you shut up and sit down? Oh, does this mean I have the internship? I don't know. Can you type? Oh, what do you want me to type? The whole thing about how Jen Rappaport made the phony phone call in front of Judge Fitzwater. Well, what does that have anything to do with Mitch Lawrence? Okay. Um, why did Jen Rappaport do that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I supposed to get back at her ex for dumping her? Or maybe Mitch Lawrence set the whole thing up? Are you serious? I don't know. I don't care. From now on, that's what happened. You mean just make this whole thing up? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, rule number one, journalism. You throw everything against the wall and you see what sticks. Is that how everybody does that's it? That's how I do it. And I have a feeling this is going to stick, so come on, get going. You start with how Jen Rappaport made the phony phone call in front of Judge Fitzwater, and then how she shed the crocodile tears on the stand, and then blah, blah, blah. And you write the whole thing, and then you give it to me, and I read it, and turn it into something halfway readable, and then we run it. Wow, this is like a dream come true. I'm working on a newspaper and getting to dump on Jen Rappaport. <laughs> Knock yourself out. OK, here's how it starts. You're in the stall. And you're peering through a crack in the door, and you can see that Jen Rappaport is there, and she's clearly up to something. She's waiting for somebody. And then, when Judge Fitzwater comes in, she pounces on her and makes her think that Christian Vega is the real threat, when the real threat is the man that's behind all of it, Mitch Lawrence. You're so awesome. I'm with Sam now. You know that. Yuck, yuck, and yuck. Come on, you like Sam, and you were really happy when we got together. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, I know, a lot of things have, have changed. Yeah, they did. And Dad's back, and now we're living together, and you two should be together. Well, it's not going to be like this forever, Star, all right? Sooner or later, hopefully sooner than later, well, we're going to move back into our house, and Daddy's still going to be here, and... Well, it's not going to be so confusing for you, okay? I'm not the one who's confused here, okay? You and Dad are. You can't even see what's right in front of you. Fudge! Okay, that's not bad. Really? I'll tell you what, why don't you make it so that uh, Mitch Lawrence and the Rapport girl were sticking their heads together and they were whispering right before the hearing that reeks of conspiracy. Ooh. And they looked really chummy. Yeah, yeah right. A add that. Oh, right, of course. Huh? How's this? It's great. I tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll dummy it up and have it run on the front page. Why don't you get out of the way and I'll send it now. We'll run it as a special edition. So, your wife's in the loony bin, huh? this. What?
notice something happened? Yeah, it's... Oh. I forgot. Never mind. You don't love Dad anymore. Forget it. Forget what? What, what are you talking about? Um, nothing. Just about the girl that's downstairs with Dad. Who? I don't know, but she's all over him. What? I, I, I'm so? So you don't care? <laughs> well, why, why should I care? I'm a Sam. And Daddy, he, he, should, he should have a friend. Looks like more than a friend to me. And if you don't believe me, you can go downstairs and look for yourself. No! I, I mean, I, I can't, you know, I'm... I'm in hiding, remember? Yeah, the only reason why we're staying here was Dad. Besides, I'm, I'm not interested. So that's it. Yep. Don't you have homework to do or something? So you're not even curious? Nope, not at all. End of story. <gasps> Why should I care? Probably not even a girl. A girl? Mom? Yes, 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 yes! Wondering if the rumors were true. Why? I have an inquiring mind. <laughs> uh huh. Are you um, seeing anybody new? <laughs> you know what? Why don't we stick to the story? I need for you to do some field work. As a reporter? Uh huh. But you got to say you're from your college newspaper or something like that. You can't say you're from the sun. You got that? I mean, I would do it myself, but, well, nobody ever talks to me. Right. You're going to say you're from the sun, aren't you? Hmm. Tell you what, you find these people and you interview them. You find out as much dirt as you can about Mitch Lawrence, but you don't let them know that that's what you're doing. Oh, don't worry. So be good. So can I call you if I have any questions? Sure. Of course, I probably won't need to call you. I mean, you've already just taught me so much. We make a uh, pretty good team, don't we? Well, you uh, definitely have something that I want. All you have to do is ask. Tell you what. If you want to call me, you should call me here. It's at my office, and it's a private number. You know, we don't want to arouse uh, <laughs> any suspicion. I'll be in touch. Don't take too long, though. No? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I won't. I can't wait to do whatever it is that I can for you. <laughs> 